Hey, Wamboos. Okay, now, alabaster. This can be looked at, at both as a, a mineral or as a gemstone. So in this video, we're going to cover it as a gemstone, and then I'll do another one looking at more from a mineralogical point of view. So I'll be starting a new playlist with all the mineralogical information, and this playlist is going to be all the gemological information. So uh, telling us what about alabaster? Here's the artificially intelligent version of me. Like the gypsum of which it is a form, alabaster is a member of the sulfate group of minerals and gemstones. Each molecule is composed of one atom of calcium, one atom of sulfur and four atoms of oxygen, in addition, there are two attached molecules of water of crystallization. Crystals of alabaster which are microscopic and typically compacted into large masses called aggregates conform to the monoclinic system of symmetry, in which no pair of faces is the same length breadth or height as any other. However, much alabaster is a form of sedimentary rock with no crystalline structure at all although the chemical composition of such specimens is variable, it is still mainly hydrated calcium sulfate. When hit with a hammer or subjected to pressure, alabaster does not break up along its weakest structural lines in the normal way of many minerals and gemstones, in scientific terms, it is said to show no cleavage. This mechanical feature is one of the characteristics that make slabs of alabaster particularly suitable for ornamentation. Hey guys, just interrupting myself quickly. Just give us a quick like. Thanks, that's all. Alabaster is the fine-grained massive variety of the mineral gypsum which is used to make statues vases and a wide range of ornaments. Alabaster is usually white or completely colorless, although various shades of brown, gray, pink, red or yellow may also be found in limited areas. The word is derived from the Greek alabastros, which is thought to have been the name of a town in ancient Egypt. Most alabaster is defined as the fine-grained and massive variety of gypsum, a naturally occurring sulfate of calcium which is hydrated by two molecules of crystallized water its chemical formula is, CaSO4.2H2O. It forms in microcrystals, which conform to the monoclinic system of symmetry. However, some forms of alabaster have no crystalline structure at all, in scientific terms, they are said to be amorphous. Such specimens are geologically classified not as minerals, but as a variety of sedimentary rock. Ornamental Uses Alabaster is soft enough, being a 7 on the Mohs scale, to be cut and polished by hand with tools or abrasive paper. It has been used for hundreds of years to make carvings, statues and other ornaments, especially ashtrays clock cases, paperweights and vases. It is normally snow white, but may be artificially dyed. When it is subjected to heat treatment it may take on the external appearance of the even more precious marble. Although alabaster is found in many parts of the world, the main commercial centers for alabaster artifacts are in Florence, Livorno and Milan, Italy, and Berlin, Germany. It is to these cities that the finest ornaments have tended to be sent for resale. Alabaster forms mainly through the evaporation of former seas or saltwater lakes. It is thus classified as an evaporite deposit, a form of sedimentary rock. It forms embedded deposits, often in association with anhydrite and halite. Elsewhere, some smaller deposits form in rocks that were originally created through volcanic activity deep beneath the surface of the earth and are thus igneous rocks. The world's most important deposits of alabaster are found with gypsum, of which it is a precious form in the following locations worldwide, New Brunswick and Nova Scotia, Canada, the Atacama Desert, Chile, Canton, Sussex, England, the Paris Basin, France, Bologna, Livorno, Pisa and Sicily, Lely, Chihuahua, Mexico, California, Colorado, Michigan and New Mexico, USA. Tests and Treatment Alabaster may display a distinctive blue or greenish light of its own when placed under an ultraviolet lamp, the scientific name for this effect is fluorescence. Alabaster is extremely soft, it may be scratched easily with a fingernail, and soluble in acids. Surface iron stains may be removed with oxalic acid. Yeah, I used, I used to have a really nice vase made out of alabaster. Uh, my granddad brought that back from Italy, I think but unfortunately it broke. But anyhow, that's all for today. So uh, we will be doing uh, alabaster again, but from a more mineralogical point of view rather than the gemological. So that's all for today. And if you could just uh, hit the subscribe button, that'd be awesome. Cool, cheers.